Booth of Blue Rose Kennels YouTube channel. We are proudly sponsored now by Canine Chronicle TV. Today's video is going to give you another product review, so stay tuned for some of our favorites as well as the details on this week's giveaway. we're going to review today is from Etched Memory. It comes in a lovely box like this. It is a beautiful 3D crystal and a stand for the crystal to go on. It also plugs in to the wall or your computer or any USB port. I will have a uh, clip it of how this looks up close for you. This is Dodger's head etched in this glass. It's a 3D image of him, and I keep it on my desk. It's absolutely gorgeous, but this is such a precious gift to give someone. If they've lost their pet, or to commemorate a special win, or for a birthday, an anniversary, you don't have to have just your dogs in it. It could be a combination of you and your dogs, or your family. But I, I absolutely love this. I think it's stunning on my desk and I'm very thankful to own it. So Etched Memory this week is our raffle prize. They have donated this $175 gift certificate for our Spin to Win raffle. That will be this Sunday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be raffling off this gift certificate so you can get a personalized 3D engraving of your choice. In order to be qualified for this raffle, you must be subscribed to this channel, like this video. There'll be a link in the description box below on how to go to Facebook and like the Etch Memory page. And then go down to the comments and type in Memories. Etch Memory is also offering us a 20% off code if you go to them directly and order one of these. I'll have a link to where you can order in the description box below. The code is BRK Blue Rose Kennels 20 for 20% 20 off your orders. That's valid through the end of July, so through July 31st. So please let's support this vendor. Go get your Christmas gifts ahead of time while you get a 20% off code. What a great piece of artwork and I absolutely love mine of Dodger that stays on my desk. Our next product recommendation is going to be from a company called Farmhouse Hemp. I have a flyer for their goodies. They have a variety of products that they provide. A lip balm, some honey, some pet drops, and some salves. I've been using the salves on my hands and on my feet after grooming and I feel a difference. I don't know that much about the studies of hemp. I'm not gonna profess to be some scientific person that knows what this really does. I leave that to the experts. All I can tell you is from my experience, I've loved using these salves on my hands and feet after grooming, and I definitely feel a difference of healing, of less soreness, less aches and pains. So I highly recommend the salves. I have a video clip coming up, two of them, one from a client of ours who has been testing the pet drops on her dogs and one from the owner of Farmhouse Hemp. So here they are. Hi Amy, thank you for letting me test the Farmhouse Hemp pet drops with the boys. For the past two weeks, I've been giving the drops to Achilles and Olaf. So let me tell you a little bit about each of them and why I've been wanting to try a good CBD oil for a while. So let's start with Olaf. He's a sweet, spunky, determined dog, and sometimes his daily exercise falls short to burn all his energy. So with Olaf, I started with 300 milligrams since they recommend to start with a low dose if the dog has never been introduced to CBD before. And I also split it up into meals as they recommend. I didn't notice any changes just because I think 300 milligrams is a bit too low for him since he weighs 75 pounds. So I started the 600 milligrams after a couple of days and I immediately noticed him being more mellow, attentive and less antsy, which was exactly what I was looking for. So I kept the dosage for a week and a half 
until I noticed that he started licking his paws a little bit too much and his stomach was a little bit upset. So I realized that it is beef flavored and Olaf is allergic to beef. So I immediately stopped giving it to him. So other than that small issue we ran into, I thought the farmhouse pet drops did exactly what I wanted. So farmhouse, if you decide to make a chicken flavored batch, we'll be all for it. With Achilles, it's a different story. He's the sweetest, most mellow dog we've ever had, but he is terrified of thunderstorms. He gets very anxious as soon as he sees a storm brewing or he, or he hears a thunder in the distance. He gets very anxious. So I've been trying for years to find a way to bring him comfort during the storms, especially here in Florida that you cannot avoid him, especially during summer. So with him, I didn't start with a low dosage. I started with a full 1.5 ml of the 600 milligrams around one hour before the storm started. And when the storm came, he was just calmly relaxing on the floor, which he's never done before. So since it's summer, I tried it a couple times. We had, we had storms almost every day. Um, so I did try it a couple times and I will tell you that it does work. Another reason I like the product is that it only has three simple ingredients organic MCT oil, organic beef flavoring, and a special steam distilled CBD rosin. So I also like that the dropper comes with a measurement so you know exactly how much to give to your dog. So to finish my review, I would like to say that I've always been intrigued by the CBD oil and hemp oil hype and wonder if it really worked. And after this past two weeks, I would have to say that it does. I've tried a couple more CBD oils for my dogs that have not worked, but this one did. So you just have to find the right product. So I will give Farmhouse Hemp Pet Oil two thumbs up. Thank you so much for listening. Again, my name is Crosby. I'm one of the owners and uh, I really hope you guys enjoy Farmhouse Hemp. Again, if you're looking for a CBD oil product for your pets, look into Farmhouse Hemp. They do provide quite a bit of documentation on their product. I am not an expert in CBD oils or in the effects in dogs, so I don't profess to be. I just want you to know that this option is out there if you're looking. The next item that we're going to give you our review on is the Sherboa dryer. It's one that we've been testing out in the kennel for the last month or so. And I can tell you there's mostly upsides to it. Only one issue that's my concern. But for the upsides, this hose looks extremely small when it's not in use. It stretches as soon as you go to use it. And what makes that nice is that when you're not using it, you don't have this big long hose that you're gonna trip over in your setups or in your grooming shops. So I really like that. They have a neoprene padding, which keeps your hand from ever getting hot. Have you ever been drying a dog and it starts getting really hot on your hands? This will help you. They have three different heads that come with it and they're super easy to change out. Love that about it, super easy. And my most favorite part about the whole thing is that it's super lightweight. I mean, some of those metal dryers are so heavy to carry around. This one is extremely lightweight, which leads me to the one thing that makes me a little worried about it is that it's plastic. Now, we haven't been going to the dog shows, so I don't know how this is gonna hold up in packing and taking it on the road, but I will report back in after we go to some shows and let you know how it holds up on the road. I'll insert a little video clip up here. switch as well as a variable speed that makes it extremely handy as well so if you have a dog that's having a difficult time during the drying you can slow down the speed without turning it off one thing I can say is it's about half the price 
of the metal dryers. Up next is the Corunda bed, and they are by far the best dog bed for any dog play yard or dog run. They're the only thing that we've found that are virtually indestructible. We highly recommend the aluminum ones, and you'll see why, because they're the ones that stand the test of time. Again, just like the rest of the items, we'll have the information in the box below. Highly, highly recommend the Corunda beds, and look at how much the puppies enjoy them as well. Next is the Solo Pressure Sprayer. We love this, especially when you're limited on the bathing that you can do at a dog show. You can fill this up with water, pump it, and spray your dog a steady flow of water. It replaces being able to hose down and bathe your dog. If you're using a lot of self-rinse and you need to rinse it out a little bit, this is the product for you. It's lightweight, it's got a great durable handle, you can hold the trigger down, and it's got a locking device which holds the trigger down for you. This is a product that we get from Amazon. It comes in this box. It's two liters, another must-have for the shows coming up. Next up are the Terrapin Craftworks cooling coats for pets. These are unbelievable. It's the same chamois material that keeps your dog cool. You can wring it out so it doesn't drip water everywhere. And the top part of it is the same as bathing suit material. We have it in two different colors here, but it comes in a wide variety of sizes as well. These two are the large size. Highly recommend checking them out. This is a Canadian company, but I think this is by far the best chamois jacket type of product on the market. I special order mine. You're gonna wanna make sure you have the bell set for next week because this item right here is our raffle item. And we will tell you next week what you have to do to enter the raffle to win this beautiful cool coat. But again, Terrapin Craftworks, amazing products. They make them themselves, durable, love it absolutely love it. I still have my jackets for my specials from 15 years ago and they're still in amazing shape. A really great way to keep your dog safe from the heat. Up next is a variety of plush puppy products. Our video on this coming Tuesday will be tips and tricks on how to get your dog ready and advance the show and how to do limited grooming at the show, especially if we aren't able to use power dryers. And thanks to Plush Puppy, they have provided us with a variety of product and some instructions on how to use them to do just that. So a lot of these products will be demoed in Tuesday's video and we'll show you how they do the job of helping you do less grooming at a dog show. And all these products will have new links on our website coming soon. Lastly, don't forget to support your ladies selling Color Street. I'm proud to be one of those ladies now too. And they're really, really good products for showing dogs. Again, my nails are growing, they're getting stronger. So ladies, support your ladies selling Color Street. Support your ladies selling eyelashes. Support your ladies selling makeup and as well as the tanning products. We should support each other and have fun. To wrap it all up, I just want you to know that Phil or I would never recommend a product that we don't firmly believe in. We may be asked to test things. We will put them to the test or we'll have friends put them to the test. We'll only bring you the products that we like, we believe in, and we think are a good investment for you as well. So don't forget to check out our online store at bluerosekennels.com forward slash store with all of our recommendations and all of our links to these products and more. If you like what we're doing here on our channel, please subscribe. Also, like this and all of our videos. Share this channel with anyone that you think might like it. Comment in the box below and make sure you enter our giveaways. And last but not least, don't forget to set the bell so you're notified every time we upload new content. Thank you, and we'll see you in our next video.